Hello and welcome to the Johnny Danger Show. I'm Johnny Danger coming to you live from the Danger Zone. And today we have a, a video from World Star Hip Hop. Uh, is he fitting, spitting facts? Dude gives his... I can talk. Dude gives his opinion on double standards that have women frustrated with men in today's society. Uh, so today, th so this video, right, um, it's something that women talk about a lot and men talk about a lot. And I'm just going to break it down for everybody because I'm the expert. Uh, we'll watch the videos and, uh, and then we're gonna break it down after. Okay, if men don't want a woman that's been passed around, what make y'all think that we want a man that's been passed around? Hold up. Yeah. And, can, and can I just say that this question has been, the answer has been repeated over and over again, but because it's the same, it's the same answer, you know, like cliches, they, they, they sound like they're old and they're tired like and you just repeat the same thing over and over again people are just like yeah yeah we heard it uh we don't care anymore so uh, i'm gonna play the video again and i'm gonna give you a very detailed answer to that with that's not gonna sound de demeaning or derogatory we hopefully passed around we do the passing around <laughs> men don't get passed around the second the first part really good take the second part kind of sounds very grimy um we we don't get passed around because we get tossed aside essentially so it's like if i go to talk to a girl that i that i like and you know i'm out of the dating pool i've been out of the dating pool for like a long time now um die, guys don't get passed around they get passed to the toss to the side um so essentially it's like we can try to start a real some sort of physical relationship with someone but if the other person says no it's a no right so if the other person never tries because all they have to do is just stand still then you're not really doing much right so so like say hypothetically let's in context of a football game um if you go to a football game and your team wins the Super Bowl, should you get a trophy? No, because all you did was show up. The team did all the work. You were just there cheating them on, right? So that's my take on that. Let's continue to listen to this man's point, and I'm going to try to break it down as best I can. Men can't be hoes. We are yes, we can. Makers. If somebody that no, no, we're not. Call me a hoe. I'm not taking that as an insult. You know why? Because it's not easy for a man to get women. That is true. Unlike y'all women, we weren't born with value. We had Yes, we are. Value. Yes, we yes we do. We were we we all are born with value. We're all every person in this world that's born, we have rights to be valued. And and it sucks because um with today's the, with the pickup game, right? With everything with the game and all of the Pua's and the Andrew Tate's men are starting to think that like we don't have value, right? No, we do. We're, we're people. And whether we, we hold physical value, financial value, spiritual value, whatever it is, we hold it. And I, I'm not born. And then for some reason, Every like a city dies, you know. I don't know how to explain that one very uh, methodically, but let's continue to listen. And it's so sad to hear him say that because it's like, you know, he put himself out there. You know, he's trying, but this is the way that these these um these takes have been kind of like morphing. Our society, men in society, men in the society, and and it's sad because I was I was there. I didn't think I had value. I didn't think I had value, and slowly I had to regain my confidence and realize why I do matter. And and you know you can you can even hear it in my voice where I'm just like, it, it brings me back to a, a harsher harsher time. Let's just keep going. Get women in the first place. In fact, when you see a man that gets a lot of women. Y'all are actually more attracted to him. Yep. Because y'all look at him like, damn. Actually, not even. Because I've been married for like a little bit. And I don't have, you know, people. I don't have women um, knocking, hitting me up or, or, or anything like that. So it's this, even this take is kind of false. Because um, 
No, <laughs> if you uh, so if you have a dating profile and you have and you have a dating profile with women around you, that actually takes away from your value because they go, okay, well this guy's a player, let me swipe to the side and oh wow, I got messed up here. Um, so see, <laughs> this is sad to me. You must be doing something right. Y'all don't no. want the man that has no options. Um, kind of like, and it's kind of a yes or no. Yes and a no, because obviously what he's going to say next is like, um, you're not going to go for the guy who, who's, who's there. You, you want him to play hard to get. And, and unfortunately, well, let, let him say it. That gets no girls. That's going to have to be loyal to you. Right. So he's saying that you're, you're not going to want a guy, guy who's going to, who has no other options. Right. Well, here's the thing. You want to play hard to get, essentially, right? Because you want her to wonder. And um, the old p passage that absence makes the heart go fonder is true. So she's going to start thinking about you more. Why isn't he messaging me? Should I message him? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I finally got uh, a message from him. The endorphins start to spike. Yay. Um, but uh, the way that men do this, like the players... Right, the and and it, they are player. The players they they occupy their time with other women. So if this one's not and I've heard it, I heard it. Like I've I've been like, yo, you you talking to this chick? I was like, yeah. Well, you know, if this one's busy, you talk to this one. And I'm like, all right, kind of sounds messed up, but I mean, you do you. Um, and the way that high value men do this is by occupying their time with activities, hobbies productive things that give them more value and whoops and um so so it, it, it and the, here's the thing that high value men who are enthralled in their values start to lose interest in the pursuit right it's like all right well i don't bother with this because she's playing hard to get and i'm playing hard to uh, i'm hard i'm playing hard getting i don't know what, you know what i'm trying to say so why would i try to bother play, like why, why would I try to bother building with something with somebody who isn't putting as much commitment, time and commitment in that I'm willing to give? So they start to do play the game. And then that's when they become, um, that's when they realize that they, all they have to do is play the game. And so they also become the, the player. And then this, they do that to a girl. The girl then goes, I don't want to deal with, with men anymore. And whenever a guy seems too good to be true, she starts to cut him off. And the cycle goes round and round and round. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Hell nah. So like I said earlier, since y'all are born with value, y'all don't have to put in any work to get sex. So if you had a lot of partners, why would a man that you respect take you serious when you gave it up to men easily in the past? Um... So if if you ever said that to a girl, she would most likely um, feel really bad about herself because it's like, what do you do? Because they're they're not all sleeping around to just sleep around. They're sleeping they're sleeping with a man that they actually think that's gonna, they're gonna have a relationship with. Uh, I remember um, my cousin. She was telling me her and her girlfriend was talking about how her boyfriend was cheating and she knew that he was cheating. And I'm like, well, just cheat on cheat on him. Like, you know, it's way easier for a girl to, to cheat on a guy than a guy to cheat on a girl. Because the guy got to go out there and do the and commit, and, you know, put in the work. And she's like, guys don't understand. We just can't do that. And from what I took of that is that they can't. They can't just put in. They can't put the themselves out there like that because they get emotionally attached to the person they commit to i also saw a uh, episode of the tire bank show that there was a statistic that women increase uh their their affection or they their their affection for the man that they sleep with goes up after they sleep with the man while the men goes down so essentially what's happening right so say like you have a guy who has this much interest in you and I'm trying to go as low as possible without going out of camera and, and, and you sleep with him. Then his interest after sleeping with him is going to go down here. And if you can sleeping on a, with him, you're gonna, it's going to go down here and you're going to go up here and he's going to keep going down and you're going to keep going up. And then you're going to have this huge gap where he doesn't have to do anything to, 
to get you wrapped around his finger and you're sprung you know what i mean he, he's just doing whatever he wants to do oh someone's over here okay i'm gonna go there she she's gonna save you she's gonna just always be there so i don't have to worry about that um so i forgot where i was going that but let's just finish the video go back to the question and i can answer the question what benefit does he have for giving you a ring do y'all know what that's also accurate as well because let's be honest like why why would a man feel special when he knows that i'll explain i'll explain that the woman is it's a woman that's able to get the man that she wants and retain him and keep him yeah get a ring from him yeah that's value that's that's yeah and you're not going to be able to do that from a guy who does not respect you right so going back to my little scale right so say like the guy's up here and you're like down here you guys start sleeping with each other even though you don't want to it's going to go like this and eventually you're going to be eye to eye and eventually maybe like 10 years down the line it's going to be like this right but at that time he's going to be flat out in love with you and he's not going to leave you because he loves you right because that's time time will make the heart grow fonder as well um as you can see from like arranged marriages right they they're with each other for a long time and um some supposedly there's like a high success rate with arranged marriages and it's not that they fell in love right off the bat no it's they spend a lot of time with each other and end up falling in love they have a kid blah 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 that statistic aside I, it's just we don't want to the same way that you don't want to be another notch in a guy's belt we don't want to be another notch on your belt and the fact that you know you you, you had essentially if you're just like well yeah you know and i'm going to choose a really stupid ridiculous number it's like yeah you know 400 guys and, you, and you're like oh all right well what happened you know, like why why couldn't are you choosing to be with me or are you just kind of like all right i did my i did what i gotta do i did i did my dirt now it's time for you you're you're the lucky guy that gets gets to be with me it's it, it starts to feel like you're stuck you're you're ending up with us instead of you're deciding to be with us so it, it makes a lot of sense uh he does have good takes but let's go back to the original question right so she goes Okay, if men don't want a woman that's been passed around, what make y'all think that we want a man that's been passed around? Um, because you don't care. I'll uh, put it to you that way. Um, you'll be with a man who has a guy, uh, oh, a guy who has a, a woman already. Like that's been proven. That's been a statistic. That's why, like, it's like look look at the dmx song why do good girls like bad guys it's psychological so you don't think you deserve something better so you settle for the for something that uh, is less and then you think you could change that that type of behavior and then a long time from that that point you realize that you you can't and you repeat the cycle over and over again um and you can even see like the the insecurity in her face it's like well why don't you think we want to like if she fully meant that she would have said it with more conviction like you can tell she's she her heart's breaking i'm guessing at some point she she wants to know the answer she knows the answer we all know the answer guys have to try girls have to deny and like at this point like it's 2022 how are we still it's two, 2022 years after the birth of whatever deity you want to believe in but, but like since the beginning of the time it's been this case the fact that we can't acknowledge it yet is baffling to me but you know it is what it is so let's go back to the, his last statement let me see if i can find it's it a woman that's able to get the man that she wants right no benefit does he have for giving you a ring Do you easily in the past what benefit does why would a man that you respect take you serious right born with value born with value um I, I don't know i think i already i said what everything i need to say uh essentially just oh here we go so there was a talk show the the view and they were talking about the guy who was like always around um the best friend they call him the buster the baxter like you know the dog 
come here, Baxter, the the guy you always have to this on the side. Um, you best way I could put it. Let me give you two scenarios. One, you're always gonna have two two options. The right option, no. Let me do this. The right option, and the wrong option. Uh, you're gonna always see the right option, and because he 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 hearts you so much, you're gonna say, I I got it. You know, I got it unlocked. He's gonna be there forever. Let me have fun with the wrong option until I'm ready to commit. And then what happens is the right option goes away, and then you're stuck with this. And then once you're done with that, you're you're alone. You're you find yourself in the the um the same scenario. Now uh, my second euphemism, and I'm just picking something random that's around me. I have to change. Um, so say like. Right, because, and, and you're not just gonna have two options, because there's six billion people in the U.S. by itself. So, the fact that you only have two options is a lie. You have millions, but let's just say you have this many options, right? So you can see it, right? And um, this is Mr. Right. So, if your phone is like this. Right? The one that you catch is going to be Mr. Wrong. See what I'm saying? If you, you have so many options and they're all coming at you at the same time, you have to make a decision. Um, there's a possibility, probability, because that's math, that's how it works, that you're going to end up with the wrong one. And so in this, in this case, what's going to happen is you're going to get a high body count and um, you're not going to be seen as a um, viable option. There is also a... Uh, more information that I could put in when it, you start to um, start a family with the wrong type of guy, but that's a longer discussion that I don't plan on having right now because I ain't trying to get catch hate today. So, anyways, that's been my take t for today. I hope you like enjoyed it. Th like and subscribe. I'm Johnny Danger, and peace.